Yo guys, what is up? Welcome to Pokemon Planet. Today we got a new video where I'm going to show you guys how to get every single pickaxe in Pokemon Planet. There are actually three pickaxes that you can buy in the game and then two pickaxes that you can create. Now the first pickaxe is the old pickaxe, which is found in Mount Moon. The second pickaxe is the good pickaxe, which is found in Turtle Cove. And the third pickaxe is the super pickaxe, which is found in Cerulean Cave. Now if you press M and open your map, you're going to see all these locations here that I've circled on this map. Um, Cerulean City, Mount Moon, and Cinnabar Island. Now we're going to go to each one of these locations and I'm going to show you guys exactly where you need to go from each one of these locations to get the pickaxe. Alright, so first place we're going to be going to is Mount Moon. Alright guys, we are now at the front of Mount Moon right here at the cave entrance. If I open my map really quick, you guys can see that Pewter City is just west of Mount Moon entrance. Pewter City is where the first gym that you fight in the game is, so if you just head east from there on Route 3, you'll eventually make it to the Mount Moon entrance. If you've not bought the pickaxe and you're already past this part in the game, you can always come back and get it. So let's go ahead and go into the cave and talk to the mining guy and see if he can sell us a pickaxe. Now the first pickaxe is usually goes for about $5,000. Now this Geodude just spawned. I'm going to have to wreck it real quick with a drill pick. Alright, so drill pack got an animation. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool though. Okay, so Bidoof's evolving. We don't want that to happen. It's level 67. Sweet. So mining guru here. What am I doing? Mining, of course. Would you like to try yourself an old pickaxe for just five thousand dollars? And this is where you can buy yourself an old pickaxe. I've already got one, so I'm not gonna buy myself one. And once you buy it, it should be in the uh the inventory here i have the old one and i have the good one right now so the next pickaxe i'm going to show you how to get is going to be the good pickaxe which is going to be in turtle cove but first i'm going to show you guys how to actually use the pickaxes now there's going to be these gems here next to this jill dude i'm about to wreck all right make sure you always have your repels on guys i preach that in every single video and i never wear them all right so repel let's go ahead and activate that before we do anything all right repel now Whenever you're mining, you just press the space bar while facing one of the rocks, and then your character will go into like a little animation like this right here. And from here, he'll start collecting little little rocks. I have a little small collection I've started right now. Um, I got 71 red gems, a gold one, one green one, and 20 blue ones. Now the higher you get, the better gems you can you can go ahead and mine. And each pickaxe is different at different levels. Um, so um, So now that you guys have seen where to get the old pickaxe, let's go ahead and go and show you guys where to get the good pickaxe. The next one will be in Turtle Cove, which if I open the map, will be on Cinnabar Island. Now the fastest way to get there, if you've already been there and beat the gym, is to use the boat from Vermilion City because you can actually go there for a small price. You can just get teleported there. Um, if not, you have to surf um, from Future City and then go through Seafoam Islands, or you can surf south from Pallet Town. But once you get there, I'll see you all there. All right, now once you're on Cinnabar Island, you're just gonna wanna head to the north part where the gym is and talk to Bill. Hey, Bill, what's up? Hey, well, if it isn't unstoppableness. Look, it's me, Bill, long time no see. I hope you're still using my PC system. Yeah, Bill, I've got it, I've got it, dude. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and go to the islands. He's gonna take you to one island first, but you're gonna go ahead and talk to him again because you gotta go all the way. I think it's three islands. So go ahead and go to three island. And from here, we're gonna be heading towards Turtle Cove. Um, I'll speed this part up so you guys don't have to listen to me talk the entire time and you guys can just follow where to go. There we go, boys. We have made it to Turtle Cove. Now let's go ahead and see if we can find that that good old uh, whatever is in the, the mining vendor, dude. All right, make sure I have my repels on. These tentacles will spawn the entire time if I don't. All right, so I don't know how to get to where I gotta be, but we will figure it out. All right, I think this is the staircase right here. Go ahead and put the bike on. And there's a lot of rocks we can mine and, and check out. I just don't know where the mining vendor is exactly. I know he's in this cave. So I've been here before and I bought the pickaxe. Uh, maybe it's on down. Let's go ahead and check it. 
Let's go ahead and check. He might be to the right over here. I don't know. I don't know. People will fish here. This is where Squirtle spawns, if you guys are wondering where Squirtle spawns. The person's got a sick, shiny Butterfree. Shiny oh, there's the mining guru, dude. That's the guy. That's the guy. we got to figure out how to get up there to where he's at, though. All right. So, I think we were in the right area. We said to go right instead of left. All right. Let's hit the staircase. Oh, my tentacruels. No. I hate these tentacruels so much. Discharge, baby. Discharge. Yeah, there's some new animations for sure. I've been. It's been a while since I've been on, so these are all pretty new to me. Yes. Okay. Open the bike. Now let's go on over and see what's going on, boys. Let's see what's going on. All right. So after this, I'm going to show you guys where to get the next uh, pickaxe, which is going to be the super pickaxe. All right, mining guru, what do you got to say? What am I doing? I'm mining, of course. Would you like to buy yourself a good pickaxe for $12,000? So this is where you get the good pickaxe. Um, you can mine this one at level 5 and, or higher. Um, it's a level 5. So your old pickaxe or just give it away to somebody else and go get yourself a good pickaxe, dude. Just go get a good one. All right. So the next pickaxe you can get at level 20 is going to be in Cerulean Cave, which is located just in Cerulean City. I'll show you guys how to get there. So I'll meet you guys at Cerulean City. All right, now that you've made it to Cerulean City, it's time to show you guys how to get to Cerulean Cave. Now, you can only do this after you've completed the Kanto Elite 4, I'm pretty sure. I don't know that for a fact, but I'm pretty sure that's one of the requirements to get this pickaxe. Now, if you just head to the northern part of Cerulean City, actually in the northern part, you can just surf from here. But once you find this water right here, you can actually surf onto it. I guess you can't surf onto it. I guess we have to go to the north. It looks like you can surf from there, though, because it looks like it's a small little bridge. But I guess you cannot surf from there, so... We gotta go down here and then we can surf. So go ahead and make sure you have your rappels on so you don't run into any wild Pokemon like me in the, the first part of this video. Um, so heading south and then heading a little bit to the left here, we're gonna be finding an opening for a cave. And there it is. I'm pretty sure you cannot go in here until after you defeated the Kanto Elite Four. Um, but you guys in the comments might have to like verify that and make sure that's like a thing. All right, so I'm not exactly sure where the guy in here sells the pickaxe is going to be. Hopefully not very far from the opening. Um, but let's see if we can find him really quick. All right, so uh, I don't know if he's gonna be on the first floor or, or where he's gonna be at, uh, but we'll find him for sure. And there he is, guys, the mining guru. He's in the Cerulean Cave floor uh, four. So it's, this, it's the lowest floor in the game. It's where you can find Maltec, I'm pretty sure. But this is where we can finally get the last pickaxe. And there we go. We now have all three pickaxes that you can buy in the game. We got the good, the old pickaxe, the good pickaxe, and the super pickaxe, which is pretty crazy. Now, I don't have level 20, but once you get level 20, you can use this pickaxe. And now there's only two more pickaxes left in the game. It's going to be the super... Now there are only two pickaxes left in the game, the Steel Pickaxe and the Master Pickaxe. Now those can be used to combine, um, well the Steel Pickaxe, you gotta use a metal coat and one steel wire and mix it with a Super Pickaxe and then it makes a Steel Pickaxe and from there you can use a Steel Pickaxe and combine it with a Master Ball and that'll make a Master Pickaxe. Now you're probably wondering, where in the world do I combine it at? If you open your inventory, there's a small little crafting section here and you can just stick them in there. So you just take this and you would just drag it over here and you would put it wherever. I think you can just put the like the steel wire anywhere next to that and it'll make a metal coat. Well, not a metal coat. Metal coat. You need a metal coat and a steel wire? Yeah, you need metal coat and steel wire. It's like two things that are really expensive now. Um, I don't know how expensive they are now, but 
we can go ahead and go to Pokemon uh, like a place and just see how much they're going to cost. Now, if I go ahead and use my escape rope, I can teleport to a uh, gold market and we can see how much it's going to cost for each for to get this pickaxe fully maxed out. Now, let's see here. Gold pickaxe, we're going to buy ourselves a steel wire. They might be cheaper now. Uh, hopefully they are. Oh, okay, only 50000 for that um, steel wire. Now, I'm sure the metal coat is going to be a lot more expensive. Now, opening that up, we're going to see it's going to cost $1.4 million plus 50000 So So, about $1.5 million to get yourself a steel pickaxe, a little 50 mining. And from there, you're going to want to get to level 100. Once you get to level 100, you can get a uh, master pickaxe by using a master ball with it. I don't know if there's any master balls for sale on... Uh, on um, here there could be and yeah there's no master balls for sale um, but if you guys ever get your hand on a master ball and level 100 mining um, then you can make yourself a master pickaxe now that's going to be all for today's video I could really make an in-depth guide on just mining in general um, that video would consist of me showing you guys where all the mining vendors are where you can sell all the gems that you mine also is like the best places to mine um, if you guys want to see that, just comment down below and tell me you guys want to see that. If there's anything else that you guys want to see, any other kind of Pokemon Planet videos, be sure to leave all your ideas down below. I can make anything you guys want to see. But that's going to be it for today's video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.